Okay, I think I am live. I don't know. Oh dear. Anyway, ding the bell. I think I'm live. I think I'm live now. Anyway, I tried this on YouTube tonight and for some reason it did not work. So welcome to Ding the Bell. This is Sundays. I am Colleen Liz Frost and I am your coach for the seven days and I have a problem and I'm putting it on the table. And this is what we do. I am working hard to leave a digital home for my grandchildren and for something for me to create for a live stream and I love it. It has been a peaceful thing for me to do at night and I'm having the time of my life. I am hopeful that um, my journey, I am in development and I am in my shoe closet because I went over to my shoe closet. I have not seen my shoes for about six years and I just kind of missed them. And that makes me happy. Anyway, welcome to my office. I um, had a very exciting day. And then I had my coffee time and I had a, quite a surprise. You know, it's funny when you make plans and you have such anticipation and then the most magical person shows up. And you would think that after all these years of having not ever seen them face to face, much less carry on a tune, and this is what it felt like. It felt like a friend who is someone who knows the song in your heart and can sing it back to you when you have forgotten the words. That's what it felt like talking with her today. I will just say that because coffee time is a private time. And for an hour and 36 minutes, it was probably the most magical conversation I've had in many, many years. And it's such a bookend to this book I'm writing. I am an author of a book that I cannot wait for you to, to share with me. And uh, But in the meantime, I have this wonderful live stream and it's just a place for me to help um, teach my son that raising him was no accident. I was able to do it very much on purpose. And Sundays were an important day for him and I because throughout the week when we had a problem, we put it on the table and we tried to think of a couple solutions and then we headed to grandpa and grandma's. Because when you can't, came to their table, if you didn't have a couple of ideas on how to solve your own problem, you didn't dare put it on their table. Well, I have to tell you a little bit about the town I grew up in here, the town of Perm. In my book, I talk quite a bit about my cancer journey and I found ways to uh, work with that on a mission. Well, in Perm here, it's one thing for an adult to have cancer, but when I hear stories about this young girl, Courtney, who has a very um, serious problem, um, I can tell you that our town, when we have a child that goes through cancer, this is when we roll it out. And we have a community and people that are so rare to me and I know that your communities have them too. But their table is so big here and their friendships are filled with coffee, tea, and solutions. And their words can go unspoken and they are able to solve it in the most unique ways. And I will talk about two of the places that seem to just figure out how to do that. One actually is a coffee shop called The Nest and they just impress me as they're able to, um, and this young girl, she works there. And I will post um, one of the links to get you to Courtney. It's called Caring for Courtney. I don't know this young girl, but I just know that she has a problem. And my goal with my seven days is that if you have a mission, I hope that you bring it to my table. Because if my voice can help bring your mission to somewhere out there and maybe one person can bring you a solution whether it be financially or with an idea 
on how to bring a new plan to help you, then that's what I, I'm hopeful to do. So the Nest has, um, their fundraiser has ended, but I'm sure they have, would be willing to talk with you. But I want to tell you about my Pete, Becky, and Caleb. They have my New York gym, and Pete happens to be one of my Club 33 members. And uh, he has come up with a workout. It takes place this March 17th, and I just saw it tonight, and it is my personal gym. And so I'm going to look into it this week. And you don't have to be super healthy to participate. You can just uh, donate to the workout. And uh, this young girl needs our help. And in PERM, we all step forward the best that we can, whether it be in prayer or financially. But these people got it going on. And this is why I love talking about uh, the ding the bell days. Because I had a mission, and I found my mission in Staples, Minnesota. And these people also know how to do things like this. And there's some pretty strong people over there, and they've impressed me. And so we are proud to be from where we're from. And I would like for you to share some of the tools and tips that you've learned out there in your communities. And maybe I can visit you through the Zoom or someday for real. And that's what Sunday's about. So thanks for listening, and thanks for being a part of my seven days. Um, Lastly, I always say that. It's one of my favorite words. I hope that you get a chance to think about becoming a preservationist. When we were young growing up, there were three ways to communicate. You can communicate about your past, you can communicate about your present, and you can communicate about your future. And my mother would say, don't get hung up at any one place too long. She said, you had to have a balance. So I want to make sure that Courtney has a chance at what she's fighting today. Because these young people that we are walk, so grateful to walk amongst are our future. And I just, I, my heart just goes out to the young people. You know, when you're older and fighting these things, you know, you have to die of something. But when these young people get this, it's um, the end all for me. And that's why I, I care so deeply for these young people. I wish I could do more. But I do have a voice out there now on this internet. So I, I thought it was a good thing to focus on tonight. And I had coffee with a person. And it, it does put a whistle in your step. So thank you for tonight, and remember me, and on these videos, if you'll do a little thing for me, and that's to hit the like button, that would make me uh, smile, and thank you. Okay, and